everyone, this is the Depressed Eeyore, and this is Conquest Elysium 3. Uh, I'd like to first apologize about the final part of the Warlock playthrough. I was apparently talking to myself because I had muted my mic and never unmuted it. Um, what happened was it crashed. Usually when it freezes up and stuff, I usually mute my mic just in case. And uh, I forgot to unmute it. So I continued playing and uh, finished it up. <laughs> I'll still put it up. Um, in fact, by the time this is up, it'll already be up, so... But, um, yeah, so if you guys really want me to see, do certain things with the Warlock, like show off the rest of the, uh, the summons or whatever, I could do that, if, but I'm only gonna do that on a quest. Otherwise, I'm just gonna set, consider it done. I showed off what the Warlock can do, pretty much, so... Nothing too special. Anywho, let's go ahead and, uh, start a new map. Um... There's not really any... Well, we can go ahead and do Empire again. Why not? Uh, we'll do Large. And the next on our list is the Bakamono. Um, I, read a bit, I read a bit about them. Um, the, one of their unique fi features is they get units from all mines and uh, mountain bases. So they just get a free unit, kind of like how the dwarves do. But they don't have to actually have a, a special... Um, sorry, adjusting my volume. The... Um, they don't have to have that fat queen to lay eggs or whatever. Um, the sorcerers rely on sacrifices to some of the spirits and demons we probably saw in that one game. Um, they, got, they also have the ability to make themselves immortal. So, there you go. Um, overall, they, um, we, hit, we see the Bakamona a lot, but we don't really see their in-game very much. The only time we actually got to see any of it was that one game with the Enchanter. So, um, this will be kind of fun to try out. Alright, so uh, three, uh, five opponents as usual, adjust our difficulty, uh, standard stuff. Let's go ahead and get this started. We are ta -da 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 Okay, ta -da -da. As you can see, we start. We use sacrifices much like the uh, High Priest does. Um, start out with two heroes. Uh, we got this character who can summon wolves. Use a lightning spell. And knows gust of wind and does he, nothing too special. But it has decent hit points for a mage. This is, I mean, 16 is about the same as cavalry. Um, then we have the general, who has actually less hit points, but uh, hits rather hard. But he's in the front row, which kind of sucks. So, um, recruit units. You can see that we have um, Bakamono soldiers, um, which are just the uh, little guys, they're like goblins with spears. The archers, which are um, just more goblins. And swordsmen, which are even more goblins. In fact, the difference between this and, um, there's not very much difference. These guys are practically fodder, um, so I don't know what I'm going to do with them. They're very, very, very weak. I mean, even their bow does less damage than, about the same damage as a slinger, if, if that. Um, the good news is we do start with a mine and a uh, mountain stronghold. Um, we also get a free, uh, Bakamono every turn. So, that, we got that going for us. I think we get access, I think this, the, the, uh, the bigger Bakamonos are like spe the uh, special recruits that show up every once in a while. Alright, um, use special powers. As you can see, we can do, um, we can actually get to choose the number of sacrifices. Small sacrifice, standard, and generous. We'll probably be doing standard if we're going to do anything. Um, before the, the Bakamono can even be upgraded, they have to uh, hide their heart, which is what makes them immortal. Um, and they can summon lesser beings, greater beings, and kings. All of, and requires a, um, a control check. So there you go. Let's uh, transfer units. We'll take all of these, all those, and all those. We got a lot of goblins. Um, 11 units. There's also four monkeys here. I think my little guy here can hold them off. Otherwise, um, there you go. Uh, we do so in 10 at a time, which is good, because we're going to need it. So uh, besides that, I think we're all set. Let's get this started. Um, 27 units against 11. We should be able to handle them. Let's go ahead and take them out. I really could use those extra sacrifices, because right now we're not making any. <laughs> so let's uh, go here. And apparently we're on the bottom of the map. Yes, we are. It looks like we're probably on the far left or the middle. It 
it looks like, yeah, we're a little bit more towards the left. So there you go, let's go ahead and end our turn and see how we do. As you can see, we're all, we lost a lot of units already. And there you go. And they attacked. <laughs> good job. Alright, we're getting sacrifices now, that's good, because we're going to need them. Lost a good chunk of our front line, <laughs> just like that. But uh, at least we're getting money. That's the important part. Uh, overall, we don't need iron for much in this game. Um, just all it will really get us is um, a plus one damage. <laughs> That's about it. So I don't know what to think of that. Um, we'll just keep going with what we got. Uh, we'll attack the coastal village next. That's about it. Um, we got spiders. We also got a silver mine here, but we're no match for that. We won't be taking on 22 dwarves anytime soon. Go ahead and end our turn. A Bakamono general. Um, what are units? Nothing special. I mean, it's, it's at least has a, a, a um, they're rather durable at least, but uh, nothing else about them is that special. So we'll go ahead and uh, make our way back to here. Our turn. Another back mono general, nothing special. We'll go ahead and uh, get some swordsmen. Might as well get what we can with this iron. If I start seeing like special units that require iron, um, I'll consider getting them instead or saving my iron. But uh, let's go ahead and get some swordsmen. Transfer units. There we go. Oh, I did forget the. I, I forgot to mention. Um, every turn, as I I did mention it, but I completely forgot about it. Um, Mountain mines and mountain strongholds will have, um, they'll constantly spawn units. Just one unit to turn. So here we go. We got ourselves some archers. So we're back up to 26 units. Um, there's a watchtower here. I'm probably going to go ahead and go after this next. Yeah, that'll be a good idea. So let's go ahead and take this out. And there's a great ape and a cannibal here. We're getting some a good early start for um, getting sacrifices. Alright, so there we go, we revealed some of the area around us, nothing too special. Let's go ahead and save our game. Empty slots, uh, Baka Mono, I believe I spelled that correctly. One. Alright, okay. Making sure my mic's on this time, yep, alright, we're good to go. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just use standard sacrifices, I'm not going to test my luck with this. Um, start with uh, lesser beings to see what those provide and um, slowly move on up. I would like to do the hide heart just to get immortality. That would be great. Um, how are we doing on units? So, okay. Bakamono shows which are even weaker. Okay. I think it's just a random type of uh, Bakamono that we get. So let's uh, go ahead and attack. End their turn. Lose more units. Summon wolves will be rather useful. <laughs> Alright, we can't. There's no way in hell we're going to take on a dwar these uh, dwarves. Um, we'll go ahead and make our way back. Alright, end our turn. Okay, we need to take out those spiders. So, what happened to you? Why can't you move? Oh, that's right, mountain strongholds take up a lot of uh, movement. Um, we'll go ahead and uh, transfer units. Got an archer and uh, another melee unit. Go ahead and end our turn. And uh, let's use our special power. Let's do uh, somewhere lesser being. Truly successful. Alright. Uh, I believe we've seen these before. These are the Karasu Tingu. Um, if you don't know, Tingu are like those bird people. Um, those two they cast two spells around and have a melee attack. So even though their spells are rather weak, they get to cast a lot of them and they can stun with them. So um, yeah, these, these are going to be our practically going to be in a range unit. It looks like. So there you go. Uh, we'll go ahead and move on up down there. Yeah, I figure you're going to run away. An Uba for 82 gold. They cast spells um, and have poison daggers. Wow, that's a rather nasty poison dagger. And here's the uh, special recruits, apparently. Die Bacano Archer 
Warriors uh, 1 to 5 with some great swords. These guys are actually rather good. Um, so that's what we're going to save our iron for, <laughs> apparently. Um, so there you go. And then screw these swordsmen, we'll just get the die Bakamonos and these spellcasters if we can. So uh, let's go ahead and take our step forward. And our turn. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and take out these spiders with our Tengu and new forces. Yeah, the poison would kill him. Alright, the pale ones have been eliminated already. So, no worries there. Go ahead and uh, cut our way back here. Transfer, uh, we can transfer units next turn. In turn. Alright, Summoner's here. We can get ourselves more of these guys. So there you go, a nice steady front line. Um, anything we can recruit. I'm gonna go ahead and save my money for the special recruits and uh, try to survive with what we got. I'll keep doing uh, summons and stuff though. Because those things are awesome. There's another Pokemon for general. I'll go ahead and cut down here. There's some large spiders. Good news is I'm constantly producing defenders here, which will be useful. Unfortunately, they take a lot more iron, so um, we won't be getting them anytime soon. And uh, there you go, another coastal village. Let's go ahead and uh, take this out. Yeah, they just constantly give you uh, random archers and stuff like that, which is cool. Near, we're still along the shoreline here. Let's go ahead and uh, 
end our turn. Okay. Anything useful? Nope. Alright. Go and attack. Whoa! A volcano! Of all things. Um, we already know about... These are Magma Childs. Uh, we saw them in the... Oh man, what was that one? It was the Pale Ones, I believe. Yeah, the Pale One playthrough. With the, uh, the Fire Shamans. They were able to summon these. Um, yeah. So, Fire Immunity, Fire Aura, Cold Form Ability. Rather nasty things right here. Um, this is our first time I've seen a volcano, guys. So, congrats. Alright. Um, we'll keep going. Take on this moose. We're gonna ignore the Magma Child for a to attack them. Alright. Bakamanos. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, end our turn. Oh, I still wouldn't mind taking out these dwarves, but um, we're going to need some units for that. Like, a lot of them. Wow, killed one of my units and, tur and turned them into a ghoul. Crew units, nothing new. Because this, this entire front row, like, think of each of these dwarves killing one unit. That's what's going to happen with these guys. Alright, um... We definitely need more iron, but I'm a little nervous about attacking this far up, but whatever. What is this? Yeah, we can take them. Okay, let's go ahead and end our turning. Perfect. Alright. save the game, because if I do, well, I'm going to go ahead and save the game. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Let's go ahead and use special power and try out this summer greater being with a standard sacrifice. Please work. <laughs> Please work. <laughs> Holy cow, what did I just get? Um, these are these um, these are casters. They do decent damage, even with a club. Flames. Fire shield. I think they're all different spells, though. Yep, all of them different. So we have a bunch of spellcasters, essentially. They also have seven hit points, which makes them practically decent for front line. So they're front line casters, which is um, rather interesting. But uh, yeah, for 100 sacrifices, we got that. Um, that brings us rather up there. Uh, no complaints there. Alright, um, we're going to go take that cloud castle then. As soon as I have actions. Anuba. We can get more archers. I don't know if Ubas can actually be promoted, so I'm not going to do, do anything with them. Uh, we'll get some more archers, though. Yeah, get some archers. Alright, step up here, and our turn. Alright, so there you go, 56 units versus uh, 6. Since we actually have fire magic now at our disposal, we should be alright. Let's go ahead and attack these guys. This will also give us a second stronghold, which will be good. And then, um, I don't know, maybe I'll take on those dwarves now. Um, in turn. Wow, that didn't go well at all. Why 
does that not do any damage? It's a magical attack. I don't know why I'm not killing them. Kind of calling foul on this. I don't understand why they're not taking fire damage. There's no immunities. Um, yeah. That's kind of bullshit. <laughs> well, that hurt my units a lot. There you go. And the druid's been eliminated already. So, there you go. Recruit units. Uh, we can get some archers here. So, let's go ahead and pick some up. We're going to need them. So... Archers, three units, take them with us. So yeah, that was a bit of a pain. Attack that. And end our turn. Four units against a bunch of dwarves. Let's see how that goes. stronghold by themselves. Whatever, kill them. So, I guess the plan is to always have at least 120 gold. 
so I can buy those uh, old wizards. Because those things are awesome. We'll go ahead and... Uh, what we can do is actually move you over here to pick that up. That way we have a unit there to pick up units. So that's good. Oh, cool mine. Cool. Go ahead and, uh... No point in looking right now. Yeah. Whoa, shaman. That might be worth... No. Those aren't the big ones. Now I know level 1 magic. Alright. You go ahead. Oh, you can't move. You can't move. Alright. Let's, uh... End our turn then. We have 44 units. Most of them... Okay, we're good. A lot of our casters in the front row, though. I'll go ahead and take on the eight goblins, though. And you sentry. Alright, and turn. Good news is our front row is at least a little bit more durable. I guess my next goal will be going ahead and making my guy immortal, assuming I have enough, uh, if I can get enough, uh, sacrifice to save up, and going from there. There's a, uh, watchtower here, and a gold mine. Let's start with that first. Trade admin, uh, nope, let's not buy any more iron, we don't need it. Could probably buy sacrifices, but, you know what, why not? Buy sacrifices. First time for everything. Okay, that's taken. There's a Lord Spider there, and then there's this uh, watchtower. Let's just take this so we can get some visibility. And uh, end our turn. There's a city here with only 16 units. Wow. Um, yeah, I'm taking this. Free city, five gold, four sacrifices, two trade. I mean, this is awesome. And it's a base. So let's go ahead and uh, save our game because I'm nervous and sick. <laughs> but my fever is broke, so I'm, I'm feeling better. Let's go here. Alright, some great apes and stuff. Nice, nice. We we'll definitely need to recruit some more units. There's also a library here. That's uh, awesome. Let's go and uh, anything we can recruit. No, back and no. This is the uh, kind of the ogre guys. They, um, you know, 24 hit points do lots of damage. They only summon one at a time. But they're only 25 gold. Well, sh man, that's a bargain. Um, we'll just put them here for now, I guess. I don't know, maybe. There you go. They didn't cost any iron, so might as well. 25 gold for one of those is rather worthwhile. Okay, end our turn and see how we do. Okay, so apparently once you hit them, they become spectral. I don't know if that changes their spells, no. Seems all it does is just make them ethereal and floating. Okay. So apparently when you kill, it, kill one of these, they turn into spectrals, which is kind of neat. Pretty much means I have, like, each of those units represents two units, actually. It's, uh, rather awesome. Alright, so we got ourselves, uh, this <laughs> thing. Uh, we're getting uh, 13, uh, 13 sacrifices a turn now, thanks to the trade. So let's go ahead and recruit some units. We need some, uh, just get some soldiers for now. We just need a front line. So transfer units, take all these guys. And it looks like we're on the far left finally. So um, yeah, this is a rather profitable start. Um, Unfortunately, there's soul less and stuff coming in, so we kind of need to take care of those guys. 
everything. So, yay. Sorry, wrong button. So there you go, we get that many units right now. Alright, let's uh, go ahead and end our turn. Yep, three bandits took over the entire city. Okay, recruit units. Another Obaka now, wow, nice. Let's go ahead and get one. Because those things are awesome. There we go. So far we only have this shaman, so I want to make him a more. That'll be the best idea. <laughs> okay. That's mid auto. Okay. Can we recruit anything? Not really. We can get more soldiers, actually. Yeah, that'll work. Go ahead and uh, end our turn. Transfer units. There we go, that's a front line. As you can see, these, these two spots here are just constantly growing. I mean, it's still little units, but it's better than nothing. Anuba. Nothing too special. Another Obaka now, really? Alright, I'll buy it. Watch I get the old wizard and I'm just short of money. Oh well. So go ahead and get that. And uh, let's use special power. Hide her. So there you go. Um, I don't know what I just become. So I now have 33 hit points. Uh, I attack twice with a great sword. I'm in bed rank instead of far rank. And I'm immortal. And I have ritual of mastery now. So there you go. I wouldn't mind trying that Summon King ability. That sounds pretty awesome. Shaman in general, nothing special. Ancient Forest. That's gonna be annoying. And I don't think I have any fire. No, there's not enough fire. We'll just go around him for now. There's nothing to gain from attacking him. Ha! Huh. Those boars just drowned. Alright, attack you guys. Oh, another town. Another Obacano. Let's go ahead and pick that up. So yeah, we're looking rather good right now. It's nothing too fantastic, but it's better than nothing. There you go. We'll, um... Seven units. There's that Solus that's been wandering around. I would definitely wouldn't mind taking them out. This will bring us to what 125. Yeah, why not? Um, go ahead and pick up some archers. Got plenty of iron. Okay, end our turn. Oh, graveyard, cool. Fortunately, it has a banshee in it. 
All right. Go ahead and uh, end our turn. There we go. And a ghoul. Probably spawned by this banshee. What's my front line looking like right now? Mostly junk. Alright, recruit units, an Obak now. Transfer units. Pick up all those, all those, all those, all those, and all those. And um yeah, start making your way north. I think I'm going to go ahead and aim for the mastery and uh, see if we can get that going. Let's see, die Bacchanos? Okay. I'm going to go ahead and pick up some, well, yeah, let's go ahead and pick up some die Bacchanos. I like to have durable units as opposed to lots of them. General. There's a Solus. Well, I wouldn't mind taking out this graveyard. So what's my units looking like right now? Yeah, it's workable. Let's see if we can take on a Banshee. You take out those guys. Units. What you early autumn? Okay. Well we'll recruit some uh, Die Bacchano archers. There we go. Luckily that was mostly fear than actual death. Sorry about the horrible, horrible sound. Okay, transfer units. Take e Oops, wrong one. Where are you at? There you are. Thank you for your donation. Now we have 85 units. Let's go ahead and uh, save our game. Not sure how long this video has been going. I've kind of been sloppy on trying to keep my videos consistent on their times. It's mostly just how long I feel like going. Alright, let's go ahead and get some more sacrifices. Yeah, that's a, that sounds like a great idea. Alright, so um, continue saving our money. Pokemon and a sorcerer. Uh, that's just the uh, little guy. Oh no, this is an actual sorcerer. Um, that's actually some. That's some good stuff. It's a what, 111 gold? Yeah, I definitely wouldn't mind that. Level two magic. Blah blah blah. Yeah, why not? Um, let's go ahead and pick this guy up. Let's see what he's got to offer. As you can see, he has a uh, plague and terror. Not really good spells at all. The good news is there's a city right there. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, transfer units. I'm just gonna take these guys. Just just in case. And uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna use that library because <laughs> I need it. down here. Some wolves, ghouls, watchtower. Alright, castle. Cool. Alright, keep moving this way. And you go that way. Should be all our movement. Yep. Let's keep going. Hello, yellow's nearby. Alright, let's take out the ghoul first. You keep moving. Hope you don't run into anyone. You go there, sentry. Okay, let's uh, end our turn. I don't know who yellow is. 
Uh, I'm hoping it's not too serious. Because I want to upgrade. <laughs> Just a bunch of spearmen. Take that. Unfortunately, we're losing gold every turn due to the trade. <laughs> Funny as that is. We're losing one gold a turn. That's alright. Okay, that should be all our movement. Yep. I really don't understand why the fire spells do zero damage sometimes. It kind of doesn't make any sense to me. Alright, if we take this iron mine, um, we should uh, be getting another like stockhold of troops that way. Um, yeah, I kind of want to save my money. I was tempted to just buy some units, just in case. But we're doing good so far. Hopefully we don't run into anything too serious. Go ahead and end our turn. Meteor struck, uh, struck down. Doesn't seem to be around here though. Oh, I never checked down there. Silly me. We'll go check down there. Hello, guard tower. We'll take those and uh, see what's nearby. Go ahead and uh, nothing special. All right, let's go ahead and end our turn. Archers. Let's go ahead and recruit some actual just regular soldiers. There we go. Transfer units. Pick you guys up. Alright. There's a Bakuma Bowman right there. Uh, let's just move there. Alright. Actually, what I should have done was just use that turn to. Uh, Upgrade. Hello, there they are. One unit. <laughs> Alright, these are cultists, apparently. But uh, let's go ahead and just use special power. Do our ritual master. Now our Bakuma Okunshu, whatever that is. Um, we have access to third level magic. We can do Black Death, which is entire battlefield, which is disease, rain of stone, all enemies, one to seven, and that's about it. It would almost be a good idea to take him to the library, but uh, we'll deal with that later. Anything else you guys can do? Not really. Nope. Just more spells. you again, I'll use you. Probably kill those deer. Alright. Let's go ahead and uh, end our turn and see how this goes. I hate that spell. I'm going to be very glad that this guy dies soon. There we go. That's good. And more of them. And even more of them. Are you serious? 18 units, 15 units. No, just an old weapon master. Alright. 
Aja units. Okay. Good enough. Alright. We'll go ahead and get some archers. Okay. Please tell me you guys are just... Nope. This is a high cultist as well. Alright. Go to now. Transfer units. Take you and you. I'm not going to let these guys just wander around, so I'll bait them. But I'm going to go ahead and take a short break. <laughs> I think that's all my commanders. Yep. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and save my game here. And I'll take whatever outcome happens. And uh, there you go. Um, this was the Depressed Eeyore with Conquest of Elysium 3, the Bakamono playthrough. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll be back soon. Later, guys.